have come to the Fade as well. It cannot be this. Okay. So this is Fade. How did we get here? Well, he naturally transported us here, but... So, what have you done? I want the answers. As do I. This was not as she said. I am betrayed. I can never trust my mother either. Now I am being trapped in the Fade with you. Ah, oh, I am the fool. Hmm. Yeah, looks like someone was considered expendable. I am the first. I am not being expendable. Both the Grey Warden and the Mother shall be learning this. I will be leaving you to the children. I will be finding my own path back into the world. Back to the Mother. I don't think we're in any real danger. I just have to focus fire a little bit. Okay, back in the fade. And who was Oops. this mother he spoke of? Another talking dark spawn I see. And now there's mention of a mother, a leader perhaps. <laughs> More talking dark spawn, and now some mother to go along with it. Cute. Doesn't look like a fade when the last time we were here. Sort of does, but this is clearly. This looks like the place we left, but in a dream world, instead of a, a very... A fate that didn't really resemble any place we visited in the origin. It has color too, so it's not quite so dull looking. It doesn't look quite the, well, how it should be, but... Wait, what did that snarly bastard say? The Fade? We're in the Fade? That's where humans dream, isn't it? Yes. Dwarves shouldn't be here. We don't dream. We sleep like a stone. I need you to be calm and keep your wits about you. Commander, I couldn't keep my wits about me if they were strapped to my back. And what happens to my body while I'm here? Someone could outrage my modesty. What little's left of it. Sod. Well, it, it was a dangerous place where we were. So we do need to get out of here. Um, I don't think we... I guess we are in sp uh, in spirit form too, instead of uh, actually being transported here. Although uh, that could be possible. Uh, it was a very an entire place where the fade was. Uh, I mean, the veil was very thin, and uh, we don't know what what he cast. Doesn't really matter. We need to get out of here fast. Drops. Strengths. 21. Okay. 
We need more dexterity. No. Yes. One hundred fifty five defense. That's a uh, this is a very hard target to hit now. She's very top even when you do hit her. And I think she has she doesn't even have the dodge rooms yet. Hmm. What about you? I guess more damage is also the thing we can do. That's our thing. So we might as well focus on it as much as we, much as we possibly can. More stamina, more vitality. Uh, I'm inclined to take stamina first. Level 30. We're still leveling up though, so that's not the level cap. I swear I saw you pick up a handful of dirt and snip it back there. I didn't. You did. I saw you. Fine. It smells good, like fallen leaves and sunlight. Aren't elves supposed to be close to nature? Figuratively. We don't stuff our noses in it. Uh, the Lana seems awfully angry constantly. I, I don't think I've ever heard her really say anything that wasn't sort of a... <sighs> said in a sort of an angry way. Even when talking about anything always sort of a ac ac accusing tone or angry tone very very uh, as much of a terrible person as Morgan was at least she was uh, wasn't quite this tedious and a tiresome The real stamina draw. Huh. I wonder if we can use this outside. Sense of constitution. Veil tear apparatus. Desire demons. Your actions to fade have an effect on the physical world. 
You see, you sealed a tear in the veil. There are others nearby. Uh, they blocked our access in the real world, so I guess, yeah, seal everything. This could be an exit. Rune Star Circle. A the only difference I can see here is the height of each zone. So This is the first. Now is better than later. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? All right, all right. Two little potions. Yeah, I'm ignoring them. We have had an effect on the real world. Full power. More stamina.
Bales attacking. More ethereal potions. Let's go that. You repaired all the tears in the pit. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Yeah, permanent increase in medic. That's a good idea to take for myself. Go and give the shades. This is totally the wrong direction. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Oh. This is going to be a fight. So, what's the deal? Now we've done, I think, all of the secondary things here. What's the real deal we have to do here? No, my lady, I do not forget. I merely... But I would never contradict your ladyship. No. I don't. No, please, my lady! Have mercy! No! No! Ah, no! I am most sorry, mistress. That's the village. So we're in a dream of a forgotten place? Wow. That's profound. Not much to these fights. They're not strong enough to really 
break through our defenses unless they focus all their attacks on a single target and they don't really do that. You're not a spirit like everyone else. How did you get here? Hmm. I got to ask you the same question. This is where my grandfather's ashes are buried. I come to visit him often. He was the last person to stay in Black Marsh. Once he passed, there was nobody left in the village who remembered. Remembered what? Remembered what happened to the village, of course. The marsh was full of people once. Then that evil woman came and changed everything. She... Oh no! They've come back again! Quick, come hide in the crypt! You encountered a young woman visiting her grandfather's grave. While talking, you were attacked and the terrified woman fled into the crypt. It's... how can this be? I give my guy a target. He's still supposed to be attacking me. Target's there. He, he doesn't follow it at all. Uh, I, I, I don't get it. I gave him an attack order, tried to attack that, and... Uh, I don't get it. It seems like... That's... that would be the most obvious thing you want to do with a melee character. If you give someone a target, go after that target and it, don't do anything else unless the tactics say otherwise. If it's in your manual control, just go after the target, ignore everything else. But no, it doesn't even do that. I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? All right, all right. I wonder who the woman is. Is she really a damsel in distress? I'm going to assume yes, although I'm. It's not like I can do anything about it if she isn't. I'll get on.
uh, a frost wand just isn't a good option against undead. I mean, she's doing something like six points of damage. Well, that's pretty much what they would be expected though. We had an option to do spirit damage. I guess. Fire damage. Plus 50% spirit damage. It's a much better. Much, much. Yeah, the. Goddamn magic regeneration. Let's go. I want to see how much damage does the spirit staff do. Better than later. 26. So, a little bit better. Is it time to kill something? Where did she go? Take magic and then go power. Yep. Reset all cool venoms. New Black Marsh Undying. Can I get you a ladder? So you can get off my back. I need to check where the other path goes. What are you? And so you came, fell into my little trap. Not again. You have a knack for stumbling into traps, don't you? Such wonderful creatures, you mortals. So full of yearnings. So full of hunger. So there was no girl at all. A pity. There was a girl. You should have seen what she gave to slake her thirst. As now you shall slake mine. Hunger Demon. I thought it might have been something dangerous, but apparently not.
I didn't even get to attack range. Got stuck between there. You have released me, stranger. After being trapped for so long by my own foolish desires, now I can at last go. Thank you. I'll get on it. Well, that was nice. Maybe you should get the magic. I cannot do that. Only the main character can use. That's discrimination. Doesn't really mean. For God's sakes. a lot up here. Uh, I more than I don't want to spend uh, too much time in the cave. It's really dull place. The interesting thing about Fae would be to play with your perceptions and the trickery with the demons, but this isn't it. This is just pretty simple dungeon crawling with very dull it's very dull enemies, typical enemies. So I'm ready to move on. It's a dream world. If this is the best you can do, ah. this is exactly the same thing we do in the normal world in this game. So yeah. waste of potential. Halt! Who enters the Black Marsh? Yep. Yeah. We are Grey Wardens. Trapped? Then you're just as we are, locked in this endless nightmare. We've been here so long at her mercy. I almost forget what it was like before. There is a spirit that's come to free us. Perhaps you could help him. If only that were possible. That would be fine with me. Hear me, people. She is evil incarnate. The countless evils I've seen her perpetrate in there. I'm ashamed to even recount them aloud. She orders our children stolen in the night. No! Unhand me, you thugs! Let me go! Don't let them take me! No! I'll tell them all. I'll tell everyone. I'll tell them all. I'll tell everyone. I won't turn around, mistress, I promise. I know I've done wrong, mistress. Got it. Mm, the Black Marsh. I'd better report this to the guards. Spirit of Justice. World I'll go us. directly to the Maybe Baroness. Are still there. Of course she will. What are you saying? That she... Oh, no. I... I just refuse to believe that. No, not even she would ever... She couldn't have... A thousand pardons, mistress.
Okay, I, I doubt we can do anything else but talk to the Spirit of Justice, see what we can do. If someone would know how to end things, probably a creature of the Fade, so... The mansion will not protect you, fiend! Come out and face your crime! We aren't afraid of you any longer! The witch hides! Break down the door! Be cautious, my friends! The Baroness has power within her lair, and she well knows it. We rush in at our peril. And who comes now? More minions of the Baroness? Or yet more helpless souls she has tormented? Hmm, what grey wardens brought here against our will? I cannot say what a grey warden is, but clearly you are a stranger. Perhaps it is a sign. I am Justice. I have watched this place and seethed at the wrongs visited on these poor folk, and now I seek to aid them. Once we lived in the real world and the Baroness ruled over us. She took our children and used their blood to work dark and evil magic. And when we burned down her mansion, she cast one final spell that brought our spirits here. We've been trapped ever since, still under her rule. We have to help these people. It must be terrible to be trapped in this grey, lifeless world. We have no quarrel with this Baroness. I suggest we move on and leave these people to their business. Tell me, stranger. Will you help us in this righteous task? Being a Grey Warden appears to make you an able sort, and thus your aid would be most welcome. I'm surprised that the the you know, the elf wizard is so. She seems like a bad version of Morgan. I mean, a badly done version of her. The problem here is I'm surprised she so doesn't want to get involved when A it's clearly a way for us to get out of here. B she felt so so full of justified wrath when something happened to her people and her sister, but she can't sympathize at all if sort of a same shitty things happen to others, so... <sighs> I, I don't know what, 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 what she's supposed to be like. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, mm. I guess the distinction with Tomorrigan is that Morgan actually seemed to believe the survival of Peter's thing. Even when sort of uh, loved ones would get be in danger and would get killed, there wasn't exactly a justified wrath with her. When we talked to her about Flemeth getting killed, she was all, what would you do? and before or after I start, I, I, I laugh at her death. Problem here is that the, uh, the elf wizardess is getting, can get very angry and feels justified that something wrong has been done, but then when wrong has been done against others, yeah, she doesn't give a shit. It's odd. Uh, usually you're one or the other. If you care about wrongdoings, you usually care about wherever wherever you see them, more or less. Uh, or you don't, and you don't, don't care. You don't care in the first place. So, what are we doing? What are you trying to do, exactly? These good people have been held in the thrall of this sorceress for too long. I seek to free them. It's been a nightmare that seemed to go on forever. 
Until justice arrived, we didn't even know this wasn't real. I can no longer stand by and watch. The sorceress has fled into her lair, but a reckoning is called for. We must act, stranger. Hmm. I need to find a way out of the fade. Out of... Ah, I see. You come from the mortal realm. I've never seen a creature like you before, so I was uncertain. I encountered a trap set by another. Then the injustice of your own situation underscores why these people must be avenged. These men and women are dead, yet their spirits remain trapped by the vanity of this sorceress. Until this spirit came, we were helpless, locked into this eternal nightmare. But now, we can act! I do not know how to cross the veil back into your world. Should you aid us now, however, I promise that I will help you search. Yeah, that's good enough for me, I'll help. Then we have the numbers to challenge the Baroness directly. Ooh, a direct challenge. I like the sound of that. Less talk, more killing. We waste our time with these... these cattle? You're a piece of shit and I wish you were dead. She's, she seems stupid. Uh, I mean, the fucking. She's. She's so. She's like a cartoon character. No person would. Ha I don't feel I would act like this. Uh, I didn't. Even Morrigan was, wasn't like this. She doesn't consider them even worthy of treated as people. Yeah, but uh, I guess. There could be a reason to that, but nothing I've experienced in the game so far, even remotely, indicates that. She, there's certainly indications that she is evil. Uh, I mean, really, really evil. Murderous evil. But. There's no reason for really giving for that. Because if the reason was uh, killing her village and capturing her sister, she knows that they didn't do it. Not at all. So it has to be something else. And she was, wasn't in any way regretful about murdering basically innocent people. A lot of innocent people. So not at all. So. I, I don't get her, and that's a problem. I should. Now it seems like someone pulled all of this out of their ass. They sort of. I guess Morgan was very liked as a character in the original game, so I feel this might have been just them trying to sort of uh, get some kind of a uh, similar type of character in the game, but they couldn't really write up. Uh, write the, a character, they just try to imitate what other people have done for them. She doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe you could... <sighs> do some kind of contortion uh, to get it all to make sense. But the game certainly hasn't even really tried so far so I, I don't get her, I, I don't get her at all I'll try to persuade her just so her approval doesn't drop too much so the spirit knows the secrets of this place he can help us well, if you're 
for a certain. My intention is to storm the gate. Are you ready? Uh, I can't believe I have to convince her of that. Surely... Oh. She is a dumb as a shit. Sack of bricks. He never even considered uh, deception with the killing of her uh, tribe and sister, so... Maybe I need to explain things to things that a creature of the fade might have understanding uh, to be have the ability to help us get out of here. That's a, a difficult concept apparently. Yeah, I'm ready. I know, let's ask some questions. Oh, then ask. I, I, I know I'm sort of going on and on with that shit, but... A lot of the strength that the Dragon Age Origin game had, it seems like... It, basically, it have, was a sort of a mediocre game with a good... So a solid role playing and good companion dialogue, good companions, good dialogue that added to that. But here it's the same sort of mechanic that's just getting below, more bloated and bloated with the quick, uh, huge amount of quick keys that, uh, and all that, and now the strength that sort of may upgrade it the experience in Origin is frankly getting worse. It, it's starting to suck. It's not being... it's definitely not good. There's uh, nice portions here and there but... There's a reason I couldn't even remember what companions there were in this expansion and because they're almost exclusively hugely weaker than what pretty much anyone in Origins. It, they're just... They're just bad. Uninteresting. Well, I guess it's in the execution. A lot of these characters could have been interesting. Especially Anders. I, I think he he's fairly well done. And... Uh, uh, but everyone else, I, I, I can't get a feel for them. Any one of them. They seem like... Trying to add very dull dialogue to a pretty much unremarkable NPC from any random game. Okay, Baroness is a blood mage from the real world? From the world of mortals, as are all these people. We lived in a village in the Black Marsh, and the Baroness ruled over us. That was so long ago, it seems like a dream we once had. We finally rose up against her evil, and this is what she did to us. I can't even imagine what happened to our families. Uh, I'll tell the truth. The village is overgrown and long deserted. Has it been so long? How many years have we been held here? Take heart, good woman. Justice will see you avenged and freed. Will you help us, stranger? If this wrong is to be undone, we will need your aid. Sure. Let's do it. Good people. We take the battle directly to the witch. For too long have her crimes gone unpunished. Now is the time to reclaim your freedom! My, my. All that shouting outside, and now you finally decided to barge in, without even a proper invitation. 
Foul sorceress. You will release these poor folk and submit yourself to justice. Justice? Is that what you're calling it? What of their punishment? Burning my home to the ground and me within it. Because you were stealing our children, using their blood to feed your vanity. As was my due. You lived on my land, I, your rightful ruler. Your blood was mine, just as your lives are now. Their lives are not yours any longer. What's this? The pathetic fools have managed to recruit yet more sympathizers? We are no longer alone, Baroness. Your reign ends here. As it happens, I am no longer alone either. My path back across the Vale lies in victory over you and your new allies. Then the mother will pay for her treachery. Hmm. You should choose your pets more carefully, Baroness. Instead, I should have chosen you, mortal. We must be ending this. Now! The Grey Warden, it is more dangerous than you know. Oh, as you wish, creature. Slay them, and you shall have the reward you requested. Enough! The battle is joined! Oh, okay... We need to take care of the first, very fast. This heck do it. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Not me. Villagers are fairly worthless. Period of justice and the baroness. I can ignore them. Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. Okay, Ogren, try to do something. It's going down, there's no worry about this anymore. It's over. No! You fool! Why haven't you defeated them? They are too much. It must be sending me back through the veil. Now, before it is too late. Oh, I will sunder the veil all right. I'll send them all back. 
But you? Your life is going to provide the power. No. No. What is happening? No. This is the world of mortals. Beyond the veil. And this... This is... A mortal body of flesh. I am trapped within. Spirit of Justice, how did you get here? The witch sundered the veil in her haste. All of us were drawn through. She has returned to this realm as well. Can you not feel it? The Baroness is nearby. How? Oh, she, she did, just like all the others. You misunderstand. The Baroness... She is not immortal as you are, or as were the villagers she kept trapped. There was such a mortal once, but now? That is a demon of pride. She assumed that role long ago to feed from the mortal she trapped. But here, in your world, here she will be quite something else. Don't she need to possess a body like you? I do not know why I am in this body. It was not by choice, I assure you. The veil is sundered, and the tears must be closed lest they continue to spill demons out into this world. I can alter your weapons for a time, allowing them to drive back the Fade's magic. But if we are to deal with the Baroness, we must move swiftly. Yeah. It all makes sense now. Okay, are you ooh warrior lovely? Yes. So rogue two warriors rogue and oh Bel Belana yeah, I I'm never gonna yes. see you again. You horrible, horrible, horrible piece of trash. I like usually evil people uh, in games, but she's just so dull and terrible. It takes a lot to make an evil character uninteresting, but someone managed to do it, so congratulations. A spirit warrior, level 30. Well, naturally a spirit warrior, isn't it? Uh, uh, maybe a guardian too? And the Templar? It, it sort of fits. It looks like a Templar in, in the Fade. Mm. Dexterity is too low to use good shield. Well, I don't know. 38 is pretty good, so... 7 points. <laughs> 7 skill points. So... Uh, 
is probably going to be the best warrior guardian. Um, dedicated to protecting allies, builds a shield around a party member that absorbs an amount of damage based on guardian's constitution attribute. Master Guardian increases the strength of the shield. Guardian on sh Guardian sheets the entire party in mystical protection, granting each member a temporary bonus to armor, with strength and duration both dependent on the Guardian's constitution attribute. Okay, do you... What's your constitution? Uh, 21, not too good. Anyway, Guardian has committed to life as a true defender. Guardian Shield now observes more damage, and Fortifying Presence now provides greater armor bonus. While this mode is active, Guardian makes a personal sacrifice in order to preserve allies, creating a field that pulls foe, a foe back toward the Guardian if it tries to leave the field unless the enemy passes a physical resistance check. This mode can only be activated during combat. Uh, I don't think I'll be using these all that much, but... Yeah, weapon and shield, that makes a lot of sense. Juggernauts. Powerful physique allows the character to knock aside any enemies who are in the way while this mode is active, and the character is moving. No attack gets past this shield completely. For a moderate duration, all damage is reduced by an amount proportional to the character's constitution modifier. Bulwark of the Ages improves protection, making the character completely immune to damage for the first half of the second. While this mode is active, the character adopts an intimidating posture that continuously draws the attention of nearby enemies, consuming stamina constantly. The consume stamina constantly doesn't really work in practice. There's not enough stamina to do that. You'd have to constantly be re refilling your stamina. With the potions it's possible, but it's still a dull way to play. The warrior is one with the shield. This talent improves the effects of carapace, now making the character completely immune to damage for the first half of that effect. Damage immunity when needed. That is nice. Warrior abilities. Uh, take the Templar abilities. Second win. Yes, ooh, we could take Spirit Warrior abilities. I'd rather take the Spirit Warrior abilities to full. Guardian Shield. Yeah, we could protect the party member in a serious situation, so maybe it's worth taking. What do you have? Justice. Terrible belts. 5% chance to dodge attacks. What's the armor? Terrible armor, not even rune slots. The lamented. Terrible weapon. Pretty much everything about this guy is terrible. I mean, the equipment. Kalak. 
Griffin Crest. I think we can do better. Papa. Yeah, a lot better. 110 defense. Girl of Kalhira. Defense, physical resistance. Uh, what kind of girdle do you have? Deep Roads girdle. Let's change. 151 Okay, ooh. Health regeneration, mana regeneration, stamina regeneration in combat. That is nice. Hmm. I'll still keep the 5% chance to dodge attacks. Helm of Heroes defense. What kind of a helmet do I have? The spirit resistance helmet. Um, honestly, I, I like the spirit resistance helmet. There's a lot of annoying abilities that can sort of trap you and do spirit damage to you. But with that helmet, we have maximum resistance against all that. So we're we can basically ignore it. Gauntlets of Heroes Defense. Yeah, those are some good gauntlets. Still. Mm, I like the resistance. Why do you have only one ring? Greaves of Heroes Defense. Breastplate of Heroes Defense. Yeah. Uh, this is a good one. And a full item set bonus, whatever it is. Justice is very, very tough. Defense over 100. 36 armor and he hasn't activated any of his abilities yet so it will get better so what are you going to activate yeah this is this isn't good she will surrounded by at least two enemies you need to draw aggro, at least a little bit of it. So, threaten. Self, any... I shall do it. Defense one hundred twenty six. Carapace. Self, health below fifty per cent, usability, carapace. 
it should at least trigger some kind of healing uh, on the supports already and but Carabas gives you some temporary immunity so you have time to get those heals overpowered enemy health over the clubs I don't care about shield cover. Fade burst. No. Holy smite. Gonna use beyond the veil. I think I'll put that in there and then leave it at that. Sell any beyond the veil. Let's uh, see how well this works. I'm getting rid of that. Uh, shield cover. We have such a high protection against arrows, so I don't think that will make any kind of real difference. You... more willpower. Anything we're missing? Ah, uh, not really. Ah, uh, thanks for cleansing aura. Just to get it out. Okay, what's your weapon? Mr. Anders. Staff of Vigor. Health regeneration in combat. Rapid aims for power prone says. It's not bad. Not bad at all. We could take the mana recovery. Hmm. Uh, but no. There is one positive side though. Gifts. Yeah. A lot of these uh, crystals mementos it has to be you. I do not know quite how to thank you. What would do, what would he like really? Well, clear him ring because no one else can use it. What is that sound? Such beautiful singing. The stone within this ring. Is it lyrium? Am I allowed to keep this? Is it to be mine? Yeah, that's the idea of a gift. When mortals dream of lyrium in the fade, it is not like this. The song saddens me, but it is breathtaking. Of all the things I have seen in this world, this is the most precious. I shall keep it at my side as a reminder that even in misfortune, good can be found. Yeah. Clan, cool 30 already. Anything else we can dump? Uh, I mean, give us a gift. 
Verses of dreams, maybe. Poetry inspired by the fate. He would be interesting, interested in that. You have my sincere thanks. So, 30, 38. Carved green stone, maybe? Engraved with eye catching swirls. Or malachite. Toy horse. How did. Who the hell. Lo yeah, screw it. No, let's not screw it yet. We still have a lot of things to do here anyway. Armored Sentinel. Mother's Chosen. And potions, money. Uh, I'm inclined to give more of the gift items if we can. We do have everyone now, so... With Kristoff appreciate a... I mean... Justice appreciate a toy horse. A child might appreciate this simple toy. I don't think this is wise. So who is it for? Maybe you should Worst idea in Okay, so I have no idea. Warrior's heart. No. Discarded journal. No. Elven prayer for the dead, maybe. It's very hard to see what's the point of some of these. Let's try Elwyn praying for prayer for the dead. You have my sincere thanks. Yeah. It was for him. Snow globe. Uh, I think I thought originally. No, that was the sextant. Figures of King Kaelin and Queen Anora. Uh, it could be our little dwarven friend too. A fine gift. Yeah, what definitely is? not for him. Who likes the childlike things? Is it the eleven mage then? I'll try the... the snow globe again. Oh, how nice! Excellent. So, which one of you likes the gems? Thank you. Thank you. Evidently not you. I'm inclined to believe maybe justice. He seems to appreciate very odd things. Things that don't really seem to have a lot of value for others. No. A fine gift. Definitely no. Definitely no. So who the hell likes those? Hmm. 
Yeah. What about you? Sigran Book about ancient warriors. No, I I would suspect justice would be more likely. He's got a journal. No no. Warrior's heart. A fine gift. No. No. Um I don't understand why they've implemented the system like this. Because it, it their the gifts are trash for the one who doesn't really like them. So and there's very limited amount of them, so you're inclined to load if you don't get the correct one. Oh how nice! That was you. Potted plants. Fill a plant in a lovely clay pot. New one, in my opinion. I really appreciate this. Maybe Andrews. Or maybe the elf. Maybe Zigron. Oh, how nice! Yeah. History written with blood. Volume of the origin and history of factories. Maybe Anders. He certainly wants his own phylactery, so. At least deny control from others, so you shouldn't have. Yeah. Uh, I still don't know who 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 will take the gemstones. Maybe it's the elf. I don't know. Ah. <sighs> anyway, we have a. Demons, 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 demons with fate portals. So we have our work cut out for us. I think we'll need to just go and basically bash the veil tears, and things will come true, and we'll have to fight them. Then there's the dragon. Then there's the mansion. So a lot of things to do here. <laughs>